it's Christmas time and this is a great time of the year to use your sewing skills to make all your beautiful Christmas decorations or table uh, settings. I'm going to show you in this episode how to make these natty little Christmas napkins and also show you how to fold them to get that effect. effect. Alright, so we'll go over here. Now you need to take some fabric. Now you'll need approximately 15 inches or 40 centimeters um, of a strip of your fabric to make exactly three. So you can multiply it off from there, but um, you'll need two layers of fabric. So obviously get a complementing um, color or print. You could have plain, um, but I've chosen one that, that's the same, just in two different colors. Now, lay your fabric back to back. Okay, so you have the right side on the outside. And I've folded my fabric into three already, and it will fold. It'll um, fold exactly into three if your fabric is 112 centimeters or 45, uh, not 45, yeah 45 inches. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm also going to show you how to get that circle pattern. So cut yourself off some paper and fold it into four. Just like I have there. Alright. Now, take your tape measure now the diameter of this, <clears throat> sorry, let me just get this out and I'll show you what I've done here. The diameter is 14 inches, so if we halve that to get the radius, that equals 7 inches. And in metric, 18 centimetres. Alright, now from the corner or the middle of your circle, take your tape measure and a pen and place that at the 7 inch mark or 18 centimeter mark and progress slowly around in a circle and just mark 7 inches or 18 centimeters from that point all the way around. So it is easier to cut this, in, uh, fold this into four because it's a shorter distance. Okay. Now you don't need to join the dots up. Just take your paper scissors. Keeping your paper flat. And there you have it. Your circle pattern. Okay. So, once you've done that, take your fabric. Pin that to your fabric and cut your circles out so you have it like so. Now we need to overlock. Okay, now set your overlocker up with. Now we're trying to match the gold thread, alright? So if you place a cream thread either side in your needle and your lower looper and put your thread into your upper looper. Now I'm using a combination of woolly nylon with a bit of metallic through it but to show you how to add your sparkle get some gold or metallic thread like either one of those and thread that through with the 
woolly nylon or embroidery thread if you haven't got woolly nylon and it works just as well. So you've got two threads coming through on your upper looper and that will give the right effect. Now set your overlocker up to do a rolled hem. Now you will have to just make sure that your stitches aren't too close together because you have a bulky thread in there. There's no need to put your um, stitch length too close. Okay, because the effect will still happen. It doesn't need to cover as such. Okay. So once you've tested it, and that's my test sample, just make sure that you've got it set up for old hem. Okay, so you've removed your um, right needle, uh, sorry, you, you, you've removed your left needle, leaving your right needle in. You've pulled your um, rolled, hem, uh, rolled hem pin back. Okay, so normally this would sit like that. So you pull that back and make sure your stitch length is not like I said not too close together so it's probably between one and a half and two and just test it to see what if it's it's if it's the way you like it and we can start anywhere on this circle so just raise your foot and just pull that tail that you've left yourself back and out and tuck your fabric underneath your foot so that you're immediately going to start on the fabric not run on so to speak okay now I'll also mention that it's a good idea to disengage your blade because you are going around a circle and there's probably no point, It'll, it will actually make for a better circle. So just turn your blade up, Oops. put that back and then just get it out of the way. So whatever your overlocker takes, just get that blade out of the way. And just another thing, normally your tension would not be so low on something like this, um, but because we've got the woolly nylon and the a metallic thread just lower it down as much as you need to because you will want to see this uh, overlocking from both sides okay so just have a look and make sure that your um, thread wraps around so that you can use your um, napkins either on the red side or the green side okay and we're ready to go Now, as you're turning a circle, it's probably a good idea to just keep lifting the front of your foot up so that you're not gouging the um, circle in any way and you are getting a smooth line of overlocking. So your overlocking has wrapped around to the back so you can't actually tell which side is the front or the back and you can have it on either side so you could have a red Christmas or a green Christmas table and just take your time Okay, fast forward to the end. Now as you're coming to where you started, just snip off your tail because you won't need that and it'll get in the way. Now you need to stay in line to make sure that you overlap this correctly. So watch, follow the line of your um, 
edge of your napkin and make sure that you overlap it in the right spot. Good. Okay. Now it, it is thicker here. So just overlap for about half an inch or a centimetre and a half. Raise your needle. Lift your foot up. Turn your napkin away from under the foot so that the needle doesn't penetrate it anymore. And just make a stitch off a chain and snip it right there and you won't see it. Now you can put a dab of fray stopper or fray check to stop those threads from continually undoing. But I won't do that now. Okay. And then you can remove your pins. Okay, so let's take it to the ironing board. Now give it a little press with your iron just to take some of the fluting out. And I'll show you how to fold it. Okay, so we've pressed out we've pressed our napkin and fold, fold it in half and iron a, a crease in it. Okay. Now I free folded this but I'll explain how I did it. So if you measure down about five and a quarter inches or thirteen and a half centimeters, it just seems to be the right spot. Okay. And fold that down like so. And press that mark in. Okay, got that. Now, that's your first fold actually in the tree. And then on the second fold, just bring that down. And there you go, that was that easy. Press a crease in it. Okay, so for future, we're going to put a bow at that point. So take about 25 centimeters of ribbon. I've just got it on the roll there. And we're just gonna make a little bow. Trim the ends and add an angle like that. And at that point there, we're going to sew a bow on. Alright, so we're going to go over to the sewing machine now. So now we're at our sewing machine. Going to set it up on a button sewing program, which you should all have. If not, just a four millimeter zigzag with a zero stitch length. Okay, so this machine actually has a button sewing program, and you will have to lower your feed mechanism. So drop your feed teeth down or feed dogs, and lower your tension to approximately two. Okay, I have a matching uh, polyester type thread, something that won't show up when you sew your ribbon, so it's, it's a nondescript colour on the gold. Um, place your fabric underneath with your bow in position. And I actually like to sew it on up and down. So it's just, if on the fold, it's just left of the fold. Okay, so there was my fold there at the top of that first triangle. Okay, and I'm just going to sew it through the center of the knot of the ribbon. Make sure you remove your pin 
and about five or six stitches. This one's actually programmed in. And just take it out, leave yourself a little bit of a tail so you can pull it through and knot it. While I'm here I'll do another one so you can see that again. Just pull your thread to the back. You might find the first one won't go through because you've actually stitched over it. And now you can actually thread that through a needle and bring that between the two layers of fabric if you like. And just snip it off. And if you want, you can put a little gold um, button or uh, glue a sequin on there. Okay, now we can fold it. There you go. Merry Christmas. So there's a lovely project to make your table look a little more festive. And if you have any problems um, with any of this, just send me a, a little message and I'll get back to you. From all of us at Sewing Machine Warehouse, I hope you and your family have a really great Christmas. Thanks for watching.